start with the concept of database, we will discuss first what is data. As we know, normally we use the data in all aspects, we read the newspapers, we go through with the various websites, where we go through with the various news and we understand the various contents which we can say the key contents. So what exactly the data? Data is the raw facts which can be recorded. Now let's take some examples of the data which can be recorded. It may be in the form of text like newspapers, we go through with the various templates from the newspaper, text, video, lot of information, lot of contents we go through with the YouTube channels, we go through with the e-contents to YouTube channels, these are the videos. As at present also, we are discussing the contents with the help of video. Then images, then audio, which may be in the form of songs also, that may be in the form of numbers like this. Now we can divide this data into two formats. It may be structured or it may be unstructured. When we say the structure, it means it is in the well-organized form data, like that is text, this is structured, numbers are structured which you may record in the proper sequential manner and video, image, audio, all these are the unstructured data. Is it clear? Now the next step. As you know, why we are emphasizing on the concept or the term as data. As you know, like student details, that is again the only form of data. Like we say the Ola, Ubers, we use all the data from the various sources and manage this data just for the passengers allocation. Right? Flipkart. Flipkart use the customer's data which has been maintained and filter that information to customize the information location. Now the next concept is database. Now what exactly data takes? When we say this data, it is in this form. When we say the database, database is the real objects or data in logically related form. Why we are saying emphasizing on this logically related. Whenever we see the logically related data which can be stored that in the form of entities or even objects or any form of objects, to that case we say it is database. We have of one example. Suppose a student raw number, suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I say the car models different models I mentioned over here and suppose here I write the marks. Now, student roll number, car models, marks or suppose one of them. I say the types of chairs. If I have the details of type of chairs, marks, car models and student roll number, can we say in all these details which we have, all these data which we have, all these are related? Yes, for these two we may say the student roll number and marks are related. But the student roll number is related to car models, the student roll number is related to the types of chairs, no. So in this case, the data we have, but this data is not logically related. So we must have the data that must be logically related. So let's take the, another example for that. Suppose, here we can say the corporate database and here, 
Suppose I take the library. Here I take one object as examination. Here I take one another object as the admission. And suppose here I take the another object as classes or courses. Now we can say it is library, examination, admission and course. All these are entities, all these objects are related and we can maintain the data about the strength for the library, for the admission, for the course and of an examination in the related form in the form of database. Okay, so this is the background behind it. Now if you look at the concept which was earlier, whenever we had the concept of Google, Pascal, when we have the early stages of computer organizations, suppose we have Google, we have Pascal, these are languages which were supposed to maintain their own file formats like in the form of C, C++. All these are languages maintain their own file formats. And if you look at the earlier concept of the file processing system, for file processing system, what is happened? How organizations maintain this file processing system? If you take the earlier example, which is library, library in its name, it will maintain the student registration number, student name, father's name, then course, fine. It will maintain the details regarding that particular student. Similarly, in the case of examination, in the case of examination, again, it will maintain the student registration number, then student name, then course, semester. These are the details for the examination. Similarly, in the case of admission, and in the case of admission, again it will maintain the registration number, the student name, father's name, isolation every time in each file for library, examination and admission. It is maintaining the details of registration number in the case of library, in the case of examination or in the case of admission. Similarly, student name is maintained in all these formats. So it means we can say this contain this data is duplicated. So data duplication in the case of file processing system and this is the one of the major drawback of file system. So we can write over here the drawback. Drawback of file system. So in the drawback of file system, the first drawback is data duplication. Right? Now, second aspect, since we are having the different language formats, so each file is having its own formats, so it means no common file format. Third one 
this since all these are maintained separately it means there is no connectivity between these three files that means data in isolation so isolation is the another topic of the file system next one is when we are having maintaining the contents or details of each file structure in separate file it means we need the additional storage next is if we come separate maintain kar rahe separate maintain kar rahe to we need the additional storage for it now suppose one is to get left the admission the registration number would be cancelled but since these three files are maintained separately so it means examination file is maintaining the record of student care and library is also maintaining the student detail here that means there is no connectivity and due to that there may be the inconsistency so these are the major drawbacks of the file system so how to overcome this drawbacks of the file system and how to make the solution to maintain the database system in a proper manner by overcoming the all these problems of the file system that then we then we need the concept of dbfs database management system which will be the integrated software to manage the all these isolated file in a common platform and integrate all these details in a one platform so in next lecture we will continue with the solution of the file system in terms of the books